Hi you guys, this is Rachel Kirkland, the Modern Shaman, and thank you for being here with me for some question and answer time. Hi Rachel, love your videos. Do you have any on healing physical illness or what part of spirit needs to be healed when it manifests physically? For example, I always have issues of stomach problems and dizziness the past couple years, but all the lab work and tests come back normal. How or what belief blockage could I have to keep manifesting these things? Thank you. Okay, so let's tune into that. Okay, so let's look at stomach. I will tell you in general, stomach and the solar plexus area, uh, this chakra deals with the seat of the self, right? Will. So this is my self worth, my self purpose. Like, why did I come to this planet? What am I doing here? Those core issues of self, of identity, are held in the stomach and the solar plexus region. So when we are experiencing a lot of conflict within the self, within our energetic body of issues that trigger the self, of like, what am I doing here? Or, or um, self-value, the importance of my life, does it have importance, all of these questions can trigger a questioning energy in the stomach. And if you think about the energy of a question, right, of not knowing, of feeling insecure, there is a kind of an acidic energy to that, that in terms of just the stomach lining and your bowels and issues there will show up and manifest very physically in a way that mimics the energy that you're experiencing or processing in terms of the self. So it depends on you, but, but if you're going through a time that feels like maybe you're breaking up from a relationship that it has a very, that has had a very codependent energy. I see a lot of clients that have solar plexus cords or issues with a relationship that may have been codependent. And this is not necessarily always just a romantic relationship. This may be a parental relationship. Um, this may be a friendship. This, this can be anything that you derived your sense of self from another being, or it can be a system, like a belief system that you derived your sense of self from your work. I am a such and such, you know what I mean? A lot of people derive their sense of self from that and then when they change careers or they retire or they go through, uh, they lose a job or something like that. So those kind of things come up a lot with the stomach. So I would check in with your sense of self, okay? Um, and look at those issues and why it seems to be unsettled for you. Again, that it will be different for everyone. It can be, like I said, relationships and cords attached there that seemed interdependent. Um, it may be past life stuff. It may be all sorts of energy within you that felt unworthy as a child. Um, or like your path or your purpose is not worthy, or maybe you just don't have a sense of solidified self. Like, what am I doing here? What, why did I come to this freaking planet? What is my life about? These energies of what, 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 and feeling unsure is a volatile stomach energy, okay? All right, and then dizziness, I'm looking at your question now. Um, dizziness is typically a higher level chakra issue. So typically that is held in the, um, third eye in the crown okay and a lot of people when we start activating or integrating our psychic energies and started receiving messages uh, if we're not listening to those messages a lot of times the energy can get clogged and we can experience vertigo or it can come in really fast and also experience vertigo or make us feel off-center um, I know for me personally whenever I have been um, I may have been processing my psychic energy and regularly channeling and, and receiving messages from spirit, but if I was in an environment that I felt stifled by it, like I couldn't be my psychic self in particular energies or particular um, dynamic environments, okay, structures. I used to be a teacher and, you know, there was a sense that within certain school districts or within, you know, I taught different levels of schooling, but uh, I taught in private institutions and public institutions and different type of institutional settings where it may have been more appropriate for me to share or not appropriate. And there were some 
um, aspects of that that I would get vertigo very strongly like I mean I would just turn around and throw up like I'd be teaching and be like oh my god I'm gonna throw up all of a sudden when I would feel like my higher chakras essentially could not align with certain structural environments and that's that's just me and the way that my body interpreted that energy and my past life cocktail and what made me me but it's those active higher level chakras so the way you're connecting to spirit your crown um, and your psychic energy when you're receiving messages and feeling like those are not in balance with the body you're not able to enact on them in the physical 3d realm so a lot of times there's a sense of ebb and flow or kind of dizziness or having to suppress your psychic messages or blocking what's coming through or this extreme opposites of polarized energy from this is how I feel and I'm in an environment that's actually opposite of how I feel so that extreme I've seen that with clients too being in um, a family that has a you know say a this just an example from a past client say a Mormon uh, family that's a very specific structuralized um, kind of formulaic energy of how they connect to spirit and they did not align with that and and yet they didn't want to rock the vote with family dynamics so they were just just connecting with God going to God going to God going to God all the time feeling very connected personally but feeling like the environment that they were in was almost polar opposite of what they were experiencing on the inside of the body. And that polar differential made a sense of dizziness and vertigo come up in the physical manifestate, manifestation in their experience. So sometimes when what's going on with spirit is not in alignment with what's going on in your physical 3D experience, we will feel literally dizzy and off balance because we have to, our natural state is one of harmony and balance. And our light body and our physical body are always trying to feel that equilibrium. So uh, just like a spinning top, <laughs> right? If it's not, it's gonna try and find that space that's balanced in the middle, okay? And anytime you're ebbing more on one side or the other or feeling like an environment makes you you know, act this way versus act in, in counter intuitive energy to what is really going on in your spirit. And um, that can manifest as dizziness. It's pretty common. Okay, so how to help with that? Like, all right, thanks, Rachel. Now help me. <laughs> what do I do now if this is you? Um, there are a lot of different ways to find balance, okay? And First and foremost, I would say tune into your own intuitive guidance with that, okay? Beyond everything I say or some other healer says or some psychic says, you need to align with it in your own spirit. It needs to feel true for you, okay? And you know, and only you know, what truth feels like for you, okay? Truth feels very physically resonant, meaning you recognize it. You're like, mm, that is true for me. Oops, low battery remaining. Sorry. Okay. So I will, I will give some suggestions for things that you can do for the solar plexus chakra and obviously up here. If there are things in your life that are counter to what's going on in your spiritual life, meaning you're in environments that are counter, I just, I think you're going to have to get in alignment with being in environments that are in alignment with your spiritual experience, okay? It, there's really no way around that. You're gonna seek balance. Your body's gonna seek balance. Your spirit's gonna seek balance. Your soul's gonna seek balance. Even if your mental cognition is like, I don't want this. I don't want conflict. I don't wanna tell these people that this is not what I believe. Your soul in its dominant highest vibrational state is not a rational, <laughs> it's not a brain, right? And it can't be rationalized. It's just gonna. It's just on a very energetic level, like a math equation. Okay, no emotion attached. It's just gonna seek balance. And so sometimes that seeking of balance is gonna require that you find a physical 3D place that feels in balance with your spiritual experience. Meaning you can't hide how you think spiritually if you're in an environment that's counter to where you are on the inside. 
Okay, it's gonna require that you align at some point. And that's okay, you do want that. <laughs> that's a natural growth. It's not easy, but it's a natural, um, by natural I mean organic, and this is the way of evolution. Okay, all right. Uh, there's some clearings that you can do for your stomach, for your solar plexus chakra, um, just to elevate and clear anything out. And then also just to strengthen it. There, um, in terms of strengthening your solar plexus chakra, this is your core, right? A lot of um, like aerobic activity focuses on the core because it is a sense of power and a sense of feeling stability in life from there. Um, I love, you know me, I love um, doing, for the solar plexus work with people, I love doing laughter meditations. <laughs> I think they're awesome and they just make you feel fantastic. It's like you're doing the work, but it's fun work. You know what I mean? Instead of like, let's purge and get all this crap out and go through and dig through the mud. That happens and that comes up. And a lot of times in laughter meditations, people are crying at the same time when they're laughing. But a laughter meditation is just setting the intention to clear the solar plexus and align and vivify that energy with laughter. Okay, and it starts out a lot of times with forcing yourself to laugh from the stomach. So you want to like, <laughs> you know, do one of those laughs that feels like it comes from the tummy, a belly laugh, right? Like a Santa Claus belly laugh. And then as that activates, you just keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. And it literally, you'll feel your stomach just contracting, contracting, contracting like a tummy workout, okay? It's working out and working out and working out. A lot of times too, with this later on, you'll notice your bowels will tend to purge and you'll be peeing a lot and pooping a lot and getting all that crap out. It is a sense of detox for the body when you vivify with um, fresh oxygenated air and blood and all of that focused in to the solar plexus energy area, um, it will tend to detoxify <laughs> everything in there. So I would encourage that, you know what I mean? Just, just for some reason that's coming up for you, that, that it doesn't always have to be a dark purification. If that's relevant, it, it will come up for you. But also, I do wanna encourage people, there's a lot of um, purifying that can be done through light, through bringing in the light. And laughter is a very light, embracing, absorbing, and yet purifying energy. It has a lot of air in it, obviously, um, in terms of the elementals. And air is, you know, the winds of change. There's a sense of extreme movement with air energy in terms of the elementals. When we pull in activities that, that um, activate and use air energy, there's a lot of power there, okay? Wind, I mean, you think of a hurricane, it can do a lot of damage. It can do a lot of powerhouse moving and shape-shifting and clearing of things that are no longer relevant for you. So laughing, letting in lots of air like that, it's a great way to strengthen the solar plexus chakra. Um, I would also just say acting on things that are coming through for you because you're you're talking to me about stomach and dizziness issues um, there is a sense of things that are coming up for you the sense of who I am is not necessarily being acted on in terms of action and so uh, I feel called to just tell you now there is a sense of spirit leading you through these physical manifestations to stand strong in your sense of self to have actions that are stepping up and um, sharing the psychic messages that you're getting the intuitive guidance that you're getting following it um, because that strengthens your core this is who I am this is the this is how I feel. This is truly what I think about God and spirit. And these are strong core energies for who you are, okay, as a person. And then acting on them will kind of counterbalance that sense of dizziness of like, I am living and breathing and being myself. There's not a counter uh, dizzy energy there. Mm, I love you, love you, love you.